What's up everyone? Sean Count Blagrath here today with a video response to Cover Killer Nation. This is uh, my five most annoying fan bases um, in music. And I'm going to put this out there. This is not like a general, I'm just saying kind of like a generalization. I'm not saying that every fan is like this, but this is from my personal experience. Uh, it drives me crazy. Um, I've talked about some of this stuff in other videos, but I'm decided to make my five most annoying. Um, I'm just going to dive right into it. Number five, Radiohead fans. Um, if you've ever encountered one, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't like it, it's just too deep for you. It's too complex, and you just don't understand the deep meaning and just how amazing the music is. You just can't wrap your mind around it, and you don't appreciate it. And just all this ridiculous, pretentious douchebaggery that comes with being a Radiohead fan. It almost seems like Radiohead subliminally puts stuff in their music to make their fans douchebags. And most of them, from what I've encountered, there's some cool ones. I mean, like Macasaur, um, here on YouTube, uh, Austin, 3 Creation, or a 60 Minute Wipeout his new channel cool dude uh he's a radiohead fan he's not a douchebag but i have encountered some that are just so die hard and ravenous where if you just state an opinion that's i don't really care for them they just go off and say that you're not intelligent enough to like the music that you're not that you just don't understand it and you need to try it again and that's just ridiculous just stop um number four black metal fans as you all know black metal is my favorite genre of metal uh i love it it's what i mostly have in my collection uh it's pretty much all i listen to when i'm not about to review something uh but the fan base for a lot of black metal is some of the most annoying stupid just uh ungodly douchey group of fans they have this kind of mentality that black metal cannot be listened to by certain people that black metal is supposed to just remain this really tiny thing and it is to an extent but it's only for the most worthy and if you don't like you know mayhem you're not worthy if you listen to mainstream metal, you're not worthy of listening to black metal. It's just absurd. Um, if a band gets higher production, other than something that sounds like Vlad Tepes, if it sounds like Vlad Tepes, it's true call, and they'll welcome it with open arms. But if they get good production, they're sellouts, they're hipsters, um, they're mainstream. It's just retarded. You'd never, I've never once heard Demi Borgir on the radio. I've never heard Cradle of Filth on the radio. Am I saying their new stuff is black metal, uh, both bands? No, I'm not. But they're not selling out. They just changed their sound. And black metal fans have a very hard time grasping that concept, it seems. Um, but yeah, it's just annoying. Uh, number three, Thrashers. If you're a thrash metal fan, great. Uh, Mr. Possessed by Fire is one of the coolest dudes I've ever seen. And he's a diehard thrash metal fan. And he's not a douchebag. But you do encounter the, like, poser killers that, you know, are stuck in the 1985 mindset that was brought forth by Exodus of thrash till death, kill the posers. Ugh. It just drives me insane. It's like, you can't listen to thrash. They're kind of like black metal fans in a way. Because, I mean, I remember... Uh, one of my friends here on YouTube, uh, Duncan, was getting a lot of hate comments because he had a Mastodon poster in one of his reviews for Creator. It's like, really? <laughs> like, really? I don't understand that mindset. I can't wrap my head around it. But I don't really want to because I don't want to become that way. Just thrash metal fans are some of the most closed-minded groups of people on the planet along with black metal fans. Um, if you don't like thrash metal, you're a faggot, and you're not a metalhead, you're just a poser. Simple as that, that's how thrash metal fans think. 
and that sucks. Not saying every thrash metal fan is that way, but from my experience, that's how it is. Uh, number two, death metal purists. If you like death metal and you like old school death metal, that's great. But if you're going to be a douchebag about bands changing and evolving or the sound of the genre overall evolving, then there's a problem. And that's when you're being a total douchebag. Uh, I can't stand it. you got to accept the fact that times change and metal needs change. If every band sounded like Entombed, I would become so bored of metal, I probably wouldn't even listen to it that much. It, obviously, I would like it because I like Entombed, but if death metal remained that way, we wouldn't have such awesome bands such as Devourment. We wouldn't have some great stuff like uh, um, Catalepsy, Euphoric Defilement, Cytotoxin, uh, Guttural Secrete, just... All these really awesome death metal bands, Cattle Decapitation, these guys are prime examples of what happens when death metal evolves. And if you just leave it to, it's got to sound this way, this way, and this way, then you're going to limit yourself, you're going to limit the genre, and of course, you're not going to have that much good stuff to listen to, or that much unique stuff. Number one uh, kind of ties in with this, and... I'm ready for the butter. I'm going to send out Preparation H to you guys because you're, you're probably going to need it. Death fans. This probably comes as a shock. Everyone was probably expecting Juggalos or whatever. No. Death fans. I'm going to put this out there. I do enjoy Scream Bloody Gore, Spiritual Healing, Leprosy. Everything else to me, <coughs> excuse me, is generic, <laughs> boring, and quite frankly, uninteresting. I, it's not very interesting at all for me. Um, I've tried many times to get into human, and uh, I can't think of the other ones. Um, Sound of Perseverance, I've tried. I can't get into it. I know I'm going to get hate for that. To me, I don't dig it. But because I don't dig it, doesn't mean I'm a faggot. <laughs> Just be, I know of plenty of people that feel the same way I do. You can still like death. That's fine. And I'm not insulting Chuck when I say any of this stuff. So I don't want to hear those comments because I know they will come. And that's what drives me insane about the fan base. They worship every single thing Chuck did, and that's fine and dandy. But as soon as when you say, I don't like it, you're a faggot, you're insulting Chuck. I see it daily, daily on the internet. And it's ridiculous. I've never encountered this stuff in real life, save for the death metal purist and the radiohead. So a lot of this is on the internet. But because of the internet, this is what we see. But yeah, death fans. Uh, they don't know how to really take uh, anything as a joke. Because I remember a meme someone put up where they photoshopped Hitler's face over Chuck's that was playing guitar. And people were just losing their minds over that because it was insulting Chuck. I don't think he would care, quite frankly. Uh, everything that's not like death or sounds like old school death metal is an insult to Chuck, according to some of these people. And that's not the case. <laughs> I mean, that's not the case. I have a feeling Chuck would be happy that metal's evolving. I have a very strong feeling that he would be happy that more people are getting into death metal. Um, just everyone praises him as he's the creator of death metal, which he even said himself, he's not possessed, in my opinion, um, are the creators of death metal, but everyone just credits him with it, and I'm gonna be honest, and this happens with every single person that passes away in the metal scene, or really in general, they become praised, and worshipped, and put to a godlike status, 
without anyone really sitting there and kind of questioning it. They just kind of accept it. Uh, I think it's kind of unfortunate that Death fans have kind of made it this way, but in a way they have. Uh, if you're a Death fan and you're not this way, awesome. But from what I've seen, a lot of times, they are. But yeah, that's it, everyone. Um, <clears throat> subscribe to Cover Killer Nation if you haven't. Um, this will be a video response to him, so just go down there, check it out. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and as always, keep it metal.